it yeah, I moved it. Somebody second it. I'll second it. No, it was already moved to second. Yeah, it was. Moved to second 171 925 yep. for the all executive <laughs> portion of the budget. Mm -hmm. For discussion. Yep. Mike, you want to guide us through it? Fred, you want to guide us through this spot? Well, the Board of Selectmen, there are no changes. It's been consistent for mm -hmm. years. <coughs> I think before I arrived here, there was a, uh, a decrease in the selectmen salaries that was brought down uh, by several thousand dollars to 15000 It has stayed there consistently for quite a number of years. The supplies and expenses pay for their uh, trips off to various activities, uh, mostly dealing with state and federal matters uh, that affect the town, and we reimburse them for those expenses as they are incurred. And with your section, I don't see any changes. There are no changes in the town manager's section at all. Okay. <coughs> with budget committee. No changes in the budget committee. Right. <laughs> Trustees and trust funds. No changes there, and I have talked to the chairperson, so he agrees with the uh, amounts being submitted. Okay, and let's see, moving down to the Heritage Commission. No change, same split, and once again, have talked to the chairperson, and they're asking for the same amount to be submitted. Okay. Now, we have changed um, Highway Safety Committee and the recycling we've taken funds out for those two committees and nothing no other committees have been added in right correct so we can now go to the bottom of page five and ask <coughs> for a vote on the 171 <coughs> <coughs> huh? is there a discussion yes okay i just had a quick question okay actually um something that's really bugging me to death <laughs> supplies and expenses where are you, Brian? Please. I'm on page one. <coughs> um, I went back three or four years, and it's not it's just an overall town issue. We're over spending every year for supplies and expenses. Um, we can go back, like I said, I went back to 2009, 2008, and it's constant throughout the entire budget. Is there anything being addressed? I mean, I mean, we're not talking, you know, we're talking thousands of dollars mm -hmm. that are over expense for supplies, and I don't see anything coming. I have, no, I, I have to say I didn't see, but I haven't been able to figure out what we're doing about it. I mean, are we going through, uh, you know, are we going through staples? Are we going these through these are not, these are not paper, this is not paper and pencils. This is, uh, but maybe the bereavement idea. flowers. Um, if someone has a baby, this likely will send flowers to the employees, et cetera. These are travel expenses so that the, the selectman can go to Concord <coughs> to testify. Um, this, this is uh, fun flowers, gifts, and incidental expenses. That's the, at least the selectmen's what it's being used for. And so there's really, we're not talking paper and pencil. Okay, but I'm talking more in I, I understand, but what I'm saying is each one is an individual decision right, at okay. the time. <coughs> saying, okay, um, okay, oh, we don't have any money, so we're not going to send flowers to the funeral. We're not going to send someone to Concord this week because we don't have any money. Um, and you're right. They do. They then they have all expended. Last year was by six hundred dollars. This year by so far two hundred fifty dollars. But I believe the budget is too low. Uh, so therefore, I still think that they're making individual decisions, individual cases, and it's being spent wisely. And it happens the same way in the town manager's office. And one of the bigger expenses that is in there is that this the, the town manager has done some major binding of documents and records. Right? That's what basically kicked his um, supplies account up again this year. Um, it's not cheap. But we didn't put these on disks or on 
No. That, but these are literally copies of original documentations that you can go up into the, if you get into the town manager's um, conference room, you'll find town, town reports going back to 1906, 1906 yeah. all bound. We now have complete sets of this that are available. We have copies of the planning board records, the uh, zoning board records, there's more. There's a selectman, all the selectmen's records, all their minutes back to 1967. Right. So we're talking. We found boxes full of records, original records that were just literally rotting in the basement. Yes. In some cases, um, we took and we compilated all those records and we bound them. As we were going through, it was obvious that people had removed selected sets of minutes here and selected sets of minutes there no. because they're missing. I no, I can't. They just, not, they just don't exist. So so did that? The only way we can stop that was to bind them up and file them in the town clerk's office. So there's a copy there, yeah. Yeah. and there was a copy in the individual department offices where those records pertain. Okay. So yeah. we spend about $1,200 a year doing that binding. Um, Last year, I had requested that there be a line item added for binding, and it was refused. So we've been taking it out of expenses. Um, I think Mike is probably right. If you look at, at a lot of the expense, the smaller expense account uh, lines as you go through the budget, they're frozen. They've been frozen for years. And, and you have to pay the expenses as they, as they come along. I, said, I guess it's kind of, um, I equate it to our drainage problem in town. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. we did a master drain study in 1986, mm -hmm. and then we built, we doubled the size of the town, and they said, well, we can still build that. Yeah, but it won't work, mm -hmm. because it's got to move twice as much water now. Uh, it's kind of the same way here. We, we keep these flatlined, and uh, we still have to do the work. So sometimes they get overexpended. We try very hard not to do that, but there are certain mm -hmm. things we have to do. You know, my, I guess my natural next question is, where does that money come from for the overexpense? It comes out of this line item and out of the bottom line of the budget. But normally, there's some discretion in each manager's budget mm -hmm. so that, all right, I decide I am not going to go to a conference this year because of this, or I'm not going to replace that piece of equipment because I need, I've overexpended somewhere else. Each one of us is charged with keeping to our departmental bottom line. Right. What you're looking at here and I like to reiterate for a lot of people that are just are either new to the game, these are subline items, right? So when you look at the selectman's number, the selectman's budget is 15,500. Okay, granted, 15,000 is fixed, so right there, you know, and I, you know, we both have an issue. But then the town manager has his bottom line, I have mine. Everybody has their bottom line, and we try, and we're charged to keep within our own budgets. Mm -hmm. Once in a while, and as if you read or listen to some of the meetings, I've already warned you that I think MIS is going to go over a little bit. Okay. That's one of my departments, so therefore I'm trying to keep control of the accounting section so that I'm going to find it within my two budgets, mm -hmm. hopefully enough money so that I can juggle off the two so that we won't affect the bottom, bottom line. You know, I, I appreciate that, but it's out of these line account items, which we're all here for, mm -hmm. to say, okay, where did you not spend money? True. Where did, yeah. you know, yes. how did we cover this? That's and correct. And that's what kind of our task yeah. is. Well, I, I can tell you in the town manager's budget, if you look over on page three, mm -hmm. uh, so far this year we spent $124 in um, motor vehicle reimbursement. Mm -hmm. I think so far... Uh, I've, I've received forty dollars. If I put in for everything, that line item would probably be double what it is. I just don't put it in because I've got to balance my budget, so I take it out of my pocket. Yeah. Okay. No, I and I, it's the bottom I line. don't want you doing that, but it, it's just it, for our aspect. It's it's nice to know. You know, I understand it's a bottom line budget, but I like to see where. Okay. But the other if thing we took it from somewhere else. No. But the other thing but, that we're talking about though is no. is that. My philosophy as an accountant is that if, if it's an expense, a supplies expense, you put it in a supplies line. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I can always say that I can go back and look inside. I don't put things in different accounts. Right. I need to balance it off sometimes, as I was explaining. But within the supplies account, if, you, if I took a ledger out, you'd find strictly supplies in that account. 
and payrolls, you know, uh, payroll would not be one to play with. But what I'm saying is, I'm very adamant that put the money, spend the money where the account is. You may have an issue with having a budget match up, mm -hmm. but at least now you can say, we actually did spend it on that, and mm -hmm. that's how much we spent. We also can't transfer them these expenses to some of the budget. No, that's and uh, I don't even want to get. No, we can't do I'm that. Nor can at we. The bottom line budget. Mm -hmm. but I want to see. Okay, well, if you didn't spend this much under regular salary, and you spent it on supplies and expenses. That's something I need to know. Why didn't you spend it there? Or mm -hmm. who was cut? Or what was you know what uh, changed yeah. from your original book? <coughs> and I landed at that. But thank you very much. Thank that you was Brian. a good explanation. All right, moving up the table, Sunny. Questions? No. Okay. Nope. All righty. Nope. Going nope. through? Negative. No, I'm fine. Madam okay. Chair, there are two uh, items in here, the largest being the town manager's salary, and that's under contract, so it's untouchable. Um, and the selectman stipend, I believe the selectman Bean had a unique point of view that he presented to the Board of Selectmen when this topic was up. I think it would be... Uh, well served for us to have Mr. Bean give us that uh, thought to the budget committee if he would be so inclined. Mr. Bean? Uh, you put me in that uh, dilemma of uh, conflicting with my prior statement, which is uh, <laughs> our, our board votes. I have input. I don't always uh, uh, per prevail uh, mm -hmm. on the board. Uh, as such, uh, I have my own plans with uh, what will be allotted for my salary next year, uh, and the board has voted. Um, and uh, I made my sentiments known at that meeting. The board voted to keep the salary of that line at 15000 and uh, any vote to uh, uh, alter that I would oppose, uh, notwithstanding what uh, my intentions are next year working with the town manager on my, my uh, big salary. Well, I can only give you the opportunity, but I would encourage everyone to watch the video of the Selectman's meeting. I believe it was the beginning of September in which Ms. Mr. Bean made a somewhat forceful argument relative to this uh, line item. And I have no changes to propose either, but I think it's a worthy consideration what he had to say. Thank you, sir. Okay. Anyone else on this side? All right. Yeah, got a question. Uh, in 2012, your actual was 171,391. They're asking 171,395. Well, get a little closer, what account, who are you dealing with? Mm -hmm. Who are you dealing with? What page? On page one, your total executive in 2012 is showing 171, 391, and then your total executive on page eight is 171, 925. I was just wondering whether you could live with the 2012 actual. I was going to suggest just you're spending $700 on a spray. Uh, to get rid of pests, I was just wondering who the pest value was spraying for. Uh, I'm very sorry, sir. I'm not okay. following where uh, your where you are points. You're back at actuals on 24. Okay. You've on page 30. 1, Correct. It's showing total executive. Uh, you're on no. you one. Hmm? Page, yeah. page 1 is actually. Oh, okay. You've got to get uh, into the, the summary. Section. Okay, the, the summary board. page 1. Okay, there you go. Okay, yeah. well, it doesn't show 2012. <laughs> I believe the figure we're looking at is on page five. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, 171, 925. Yeah. You're yes. giving the actual sunny for yeah. okay. the closing That's of 2012. Mm -hmm. We've made changes since then. I was just asking if you could maintain the 2012 number. Um, the 2012 yes. number versus the 2014 number yeah. is it's $500. Around $500. Yeah. And I would have to go back and look, but once again, we deal budget to budget to budget. Actuals, we should be under budget. So therefore, you know, hopefully we'll have some kind of under underspending in four, 13 and then hopefully in 14. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You understand my remark about the spraying for pests. So now, now it makes a lot more sense. All right. That's that's really all I was asking. It's about $500. I figured you could find that without a problem. And then you would have a 0% increase. Um, we have a 0% increase. From last year. From last so year, we have a 0% increase. Last year's budget was the same number no, as it, okay. it basically it is this year. The actual is, is a different number. Okay. 
All right. We have a motion and a second. We have a second motion and a second for our line item uh, 4130, total executive of $171,925. Second. We have a second? Second? We already, we already did. Right. We already Are we ready that. for a vote then? Vote. Yeah. All those in favor? Moving that forward. Brian, are you with us? No. Okay. Brian, okay. Opposed? Sandy. Okay. Abstaining, anyone? So be it. All right. Next. 